still talking here. You don't just walk out in the middle. That's not our way. Oh, man, I've had it. Now, when I'm done talking... You're always talking. You never listen. Well, I'm not going to be a kid forever, Dad. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about what's best for this family. Go on, in the truck. If you knew what was best for this family, then why don't we have a home, hmm? Why can't we settle down somewhere? You said it wasn't going to be like this forever. This isn't a time or place to go into there. Then when is the time or place, Dad? I want to make something more of myself than trailer trash. Is that what you think of this family, son? Trailer trash? Dad. I don't believe that's what Shane meant. He's just saying he wants a chance to get into a good college. I want that, too. And when the time comes, I promise we'll work something out. But you've still got another year's school left. And right now, it's time to get rolling. Team? subject that usually comes up in polite company. I hope you got us a sight far from the road. I don't know if I've got anything. The place is booked up for the Olympic trials. The manager's lost our reservation. <laughs> oh, man, that must be the head wall. Daddy, turn her off the window. It's already closed. steady paycheck. Well, let's go see if we're sleeping in the truck stop tonight. So, who are the doo-doos? Doo -doo is their relatives and grandmas. Yes, my mother was a doo -doo They were moon sanders or something. <laughs> oh, they were something. They're gun runners and horse thieves. Oh, that's just old family gossip. You know, I heard that the world's most complete genealogical records are in Salt Lake City. Maybe we should stop in there and check it out. That's a great idea. You know, I'd like to settle this once and for all. All right. Who knows? We may have some great musician or writer somewhere in the family. Well, he's found us. But now I have to fill out a completely new registration card since I am an employee. Josh, why don't you take this thing on down to the parking area? I'll come down and park it. Yeah. I gotta go get this thing figured out. <laughs> Isn't it good? Way. I think Russell should do the parking. Uh, no, I got it, Grandma. No problem. I want to get out and spot you. Shouldn't have been. Uh, no, no, it's, <coughs> it's okay, but I've just been uh, patient. 
This is exactly why we carry insurance. Let me just get my papers. Uh, no, I, I, wait a minute. I, I don't know that we need to get into all that. Um, first off, why don't we get these beasts untangled? Then uh, maybe we can work it out before the bean counters mess it up even further. Don't worry. It won't, won't cost you a nickel more than your deductible. I'm so sorry. You are in Mississippi, then? By any chance, did you go to the Natchez pilgrimage? No. We came through the week after. So we must have just missed each other by a few days. Mm -hmm. We were looking for the Duke of Wires. Oh, well, those are the outlaw Duke of Wires. Wow, you have so much family. Oh, these are just the ones in North Carolina. There's so many more avenues I've met. How often do you see your cousins? You can always talk to my family. Hmm. I'll talk to them. Be a canyon there, deep in brother. Cool, thing. <laughs> Not easy, boss. Well, you're with the Sassy, but for me, a private guy. Yeah. So, what brings you through these parts? <laughs> through, too. Employment service down at Salt Lake put me on to this job maintaining equipment. What, here? At sundown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the guy stepping into my old job. No, 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 it's good work. They're a great company, and they treat their people well. Then why'd you leave? Well, it's supposed to be a family adventure. What kind of adventure is it if you start to take root? <laughs> well, the money's awful good. We sure can't use that right now. Don't you two have enough sense to come in out of the cold? Uh, hold on, Mama. We'll be right there. We'll uh, pick up a hose on our way through Salt Lake. Well, I tell you, where that bearing's dripping. I think you got a tweaked axle there. Now, we can jack it up and see if she free wheels but my guess is you're not gonna go anywhere with that tomorrow <laughs> Have passed you going in and out of the camp. Yeah, it's amazing. It's almost like we've been shadowing you across the country. Now, what brought you folks out onto the road in the first place? We had a chance to see the country before our kids grew up. We didn't want to let it slip away. We thought farming was tough until we started to travel. Huh. But laundry, cooking, everything is twice the challenge in half the space. You're farmers? Well, we gave it our best shot, but. It's impossible to make a living unless your operation's a lot bigger than ours was. But if we had to do this with another one on the way, talk about challenging Eesh. us. That'd be cool. When he or she grows up, people ask him, you know, where you grow up? They'll say everywhere. You sound like you like it a lot. Yeah, I do. You know, I always get to check out new places, new people. I'd be bored stiff if I had to go back and live in a regular house. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, don't you ever wonder about your future? You know, like, I don't know, maybe getting into a good college? I always go through the military. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. But, you know, they got this one program where you can pick up, like, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 worth of tuition. Dad, did you hear that? Uh, maybe the military can be my ticket, too. You don't need a ticket. Not that ticket. Nothing wrong with the service. Oh, no, no, of course not. Yeah, there is. There's a problem with whatever I want. Shane is a little bit impatient about getting his future settled. Well, uh, if we're ever gonna get out of here tomorrow, we better hit the sack. Let's go, family. Maria? Wesley? Sure, fix a cold day for the snowmaking business. Yeah. I just hope he comes home with all his fingers and toes. Brad, while I'm delving into the archives, do you have any in-laws or outlaws you'd like me to look up? <laughs> I think you'd find the Elias family tree pretty boring. Oh. 
That yeah, don't look good. Not good at all. What does that mean? That means you ain't going nowhere on that axle. It can't be repaired. You need a new one. Fine, give me a new one. But I gotta be out of here by morning. You got a little problem. You see, that ain't your standard axle. I have to call the manufacturer and have him ship me one. How long are we talking here? Well, after it's uh, installed, ready to go, one, maybe two weeks. What are you, crazy? Doesn't take that long to put a satellite in orbit. Two weeks for a stupid axle? I don't care. This guy calls himself a mechanic, and then he charges me $40 to tell me he can't do the job? Never mind. I'll do it myself. It ain't my fault. Jump by now. Oh, well, that needs a big plate of peppers and hot tamales. Honey, if the job's that hard, I don't think you should keep on doing it. I don't get it. When I was on the teams, I could swim in ice water all day long. When you were on the teams, you had hair. <clears throat> you knew. Some stamina. You get in here and keep me warm, and I'll show you stamina. <laughs> get in here. Uh oh, but hurry. Oh, Hold oh, up oh, there. oh, 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 all right. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's a lot better. Mm. Mm. Well, kids seem to be getting along well with the Eliases. Mm-hmm. It's remarkable how well they match up. That's weird, you know, and I look at them and I sometimes think I'm looking in a mirror. Uh, well, we have been to a lot of the same places. We had a lot of the same experiences. And Josh and Shayton's birthday is like, you know, practically on the same day. Yeah. And Dinah and Maria, the way they wrinkle up their nose when they think you don't take them seriously <laughs> enough. Brad can be a little intense. And not like you never had an opinion on me. Mm-hmm. Uh. But you know, you're right about him. This morning, he just screamed at the mechanic because he had to wait two weeks for an axle. It was out of the blue. It was unreasonable. Well, I can understand getting upset over a delay like that, but, you know, we turned them off and let the insurance company pay for the damages. And he always insisted on being paid in cash when he was working at sundown. Boss said that's why I let him go. What are you thinking? Well, doesn't make much sense. See this? This is a mini ball, fired out by rebel muskets. That's what my dad, my real dad, tried to tell me. My dad says we're gonna buy a house again someday, but I know we won't. Why not? Well, you know how it is. I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> Mom is kind of weird. We're not weird. We just have to be careful. Careful from what? You know about the witness protection program? Mm -hmm. I think that's what my dad's in. But what's he need protection from? I don't know for sure. I saw it once on TV. It's for people the government has to hide because someone might want to hurt them. Gangsters? Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Whenever I bring the subject up, my dad changes the subject. All I know is we're not supposed to say who we really are. You're making this up. Uh-uh. We have to prove it. Okay, I can prove it. Sit. You gotta promise. Pinky swear never to tell. Pinky swear. It's not your dad's name. My real name's Winston. We keep the letter the same, so it's easy to remember. But you gotta promise never to say. Blood oath. My daddy won't mind giving us a ride. What's the point? The point? Maybe we'll have some fun. It takes me forever to get comfortable around new people. We are new. Yeah, but you're different. Everybody else, well, they think I'm a freak. 
No way. Yeah, and every time I start feeling like I'm gonna make some friends, my parents yank us up again. Well, everybody's nervous about meeting everybody. Well, come on. Well, so let's go. Mom says we should quiz you on your parts of speech. Hey, got some fresh coffee brewing here. How about a warm-up? Warm-up sounds real good. Just half a cup now because I gotta get right back to work. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> you know, this clothing you got on, it's, uh, it's great for playing with the kids, but uh, when you're out there making snow, working on the equipment, there you go. What? Oh, man, I can't take your gear. Well, listen, it's either you or the goodwill. I mean, all this junk back there, we haven't hardly got room for the people anymore. Oh, well, oh, how's that axle coming? We're working on it. Oh, man, you say the word now, and I'll call that insurance company. Oh, what, take all my fun away? Yeah. Anyway, I don't have time for all that. Oh, boy. You know, when I was in the service, I didn't even feel the cold. But as my wife so delicately pointed out just the other day, I was a bit younger then. You, uh, you were in the military? Yeah, Navy. I think they sent me to all the garden spots in the world. Vietnam? Mm-hmm. Two tours. Well, thanks again. I appreciate it. We're in good health, brother. Oh, yeah. It, Dad. He's a doctor? He's a professor of medicine. He teaches eye surgery. How often do you see him? Never. It's a long story. I only met him once. He came to our farm, and then my parents got really mad after. We ended up leaving that morning. Whoa, what happened? My folks didn't say for sure. You know what I think? I think my uncle was in love with my mom. I can't do anything I want. I mean, I never can, never did, never could. It doesn't always have to be that way. Yes, it does. I mean, I might as well fly to the moon. He's never gonna let me go. Hey, Dad. The reality of my life is that college and futures are for other people with real homes and real families. You got a real family, a real home? Maybe it's on the road, but the home's where the family is. See? That's your life, Josh. That's your family. You guys like the road. You like to travel. You choose to. I didn't. It's not freedom if you have to. I mean, you greens, you're living. Me and my family, we're just running. It makes sound like you're being held hostage. I am. I'm a prisoner of my father. We all feel trapped sometimes. I mean, we're teenagers. We're supposed to. You ever get scared by what you think about? What do you mean? I mean that weird stuff that you think. Like, if you're always running somewhere, are you really ever anywhere? And if you're nowhere, then why does it matter where you are? Sounds pretty existential to me. Existential. That is it exactly. I mean, all I think about is existing. It's like, to be or not to be. That is the question. But the trouble is that I'm always getting the same answer. The manager asked me to drop this off. Oh, great. Thank you. Come in. Oh, okay. Come in. <laughs> Some of their SAT scores it looked like. I thought Shane would be dying to hear. Is there something wrong? No. No. <laughs> Really, thank you. It's nice to have friends looking out for you. Oh, well, Shane's a very bright boy. I'm sure he did very well. These scores.
scores are excellent. You and Brad have done a wonderful job. I mean, Shane, he won't have any trouble getting into a fine college. I'm sorry. I, I know we're not old friends or anything, but uh, is something bothering you? Sometimes... I know it's weird. I just miss stupid things like a bathtub, a walk-in closet, even a traveling salesman. But no. No. Nothing's wrong. I have a great family and the love of a husband that I wouldn't trade for the world. Me too. Congratulations. Claire. Thank you. Fingers and toes in there. I don't even notice the cold. The girls all fired up, ready to go. Good deal. I'm starved. You shave. I just got your SATs back. Yeah. Just today. How'd you do? That's funny. I didn't know you took the test. I, I took it a while ago. I had the scores forwarded. I suppose your mother knows about this. Go on. Go on. What's wrong with him wanting to take the SAT test? What's wrong with him wanting to go to college? Don't you know it's not polite to go poking around in other people's affairs? You might want to teach your son some manners. My son has manners. I've always encouraged him to speak his mind. You might want to try the same thing with yours. Dad. I told you to get inside. I think it might be a good idea if our son stopped seeing each other. As a matter of fact, I think it might be a good idea if our family stopped seeing each other. Josh. Let's go eat. Where's Mama? Uh, she wanted to spend a few more minutes by the fire, actually. She said she wanted to sit in the fire. That's how cold she was. Huh. I'm sorry I got tonight. I just don't get it. I mean, the guy gives me his work clothes and our kids. I mean, you can't separate them with a the crowbar. And now, out of the blue, this. Are you talking about Wesley's dad? You should be asleep. I can't. I mean, Wesley's my best friend. He was my only friend, and now I'm not supposed to see him? I guess not. Not if Mr. Wise doesn't want you to. He does. I don't think that's his real name. makes you say something like that. I can't tell. I took an oath. I think you just broke it. All I know is he's in a lot of trouble. Wesley showed me a badge with Mr. Elias's picture on it, but it was someone else's name. Wesley says he's in the witness protection program. Gangsters are after him. Look, it's not gangsters. It's Maria's uncle. He was in love with their mom and that's why they had to go away. She showed me a picture in a book in the library of him. He's like a famous doctor or something. All right, look, both of you. This is nothing but gossip. I want you to both knock it off and go on back to sleep. Go on, get out of bed. Sleep now. Go on, lie down. Go to sleep. Oh.
Shane and I went into town today. He dropped off to University of Utah. And he just flipped out or something. Started saying all this crazy stuff about his dad. What kind of stuff? He said he felt like a prisoner. Like his dad was never gonna let him go. And then he started talking about existing. And not existing. And on the way home, he really lost it. Started crying. I think he's in trouble. I'm really afraid he's gonna try something stupid. Jack. Okay, what's the next step? No idea. Never conducted an area search before. Then let's order one. <laughs> Honey, is that axle gonna be okay? Well, I'm counting on it getting us as far as Cheyenne. I'm hoping I can get a part there. What are you doing? Get out of the window. What did I tell you? Careful, you have any friends. What kind of friends do you call people who go snooping around in things that don't concern them? My friends. I don't care who they are. What have I been telling you all this time? You can't trust anybody. Nathaniel said he wouldn't tell. He told me so. Honey, what did you say to him? He was talking about his real dad. So you felt him you should tell him something about yours? What did you tell him? Easy, Dad. If he's gonna yell at him, you have to yell at me, too. What does that mean? I showed Dinah a picture of Uncle Albus at the library. What are you picturing? Are you trying to destroy this family? You call this a family, Dad, but you don't tell us the truth. I mean, what is it that we're running from? I have always told you kids everything you need to know. That's not enough. I want answers. I mean, did you rob a bank? Shane! No, come on. I want to know. It was a long time ago. It doesn't concern you. It does concern me. I mean, what did you do, Dad? Did you steal government secrets? Or did you hit somebody with a car? Is that why I can't go to college? Is that why Maria and Wesley can't have any friends? What is it that you did that we're all being punished for? What I did, I'm not ashamed of. But I am sorry for. Two brothers, Solomon Napier, age 39, and he's certified public accountant in private practice. Yeah, that's not him. Second brother, Dalton L. Napier, age 48. Well, my age would be right. But no job, no residence. No, no law against that. Why don't you try that name in the search box? Thank you. Do you think Brad is Dalton L. Napier? Well, we'll know in a minute, won't we? by the FBI. Fugitive accused of derailing an arms train in Texas during the Vietnam War. An anti-war activist believed to have participated in the planning and execution of terrorist acts directed against the U.S. military. 
injuries, no doubt. Back, Dad, I'm gonna fly. No, 
Nothing crazy now, just sure and steady. You're not gonna do your dad any good wrapped around some tree up there. Just take care of yourself, son. I'll be back soon. Go on. Go, go. Easy now. Don't put this under your head. Don't move, don't move. Keep you warm. Isn't this, uh, isn't this considered aiding and abetting the enemy? War is over. Yeah, is it? past what you're doing now. I've just been trying to protect my family. I've so. been taking a real good look at them lately. They hang on by a thread. All right. I guess I was just trying not to notice. Maybe I am a coward. I guess you were just fighting for what you believed in. was back in those days. I mean, apart from the men on my team, Muhammad Ali. He gave up the crown, gave up the millions, risked going to prison because he would not go. I'm Laura Napier. My name is Megan Mary Napier. I'm Winston Scott Napier. I hate Winston, so you can still call me Winston. I'm Dalton L. Napier, Jr. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Napier. Thank you. so long, I missed what was ahead of me. I'd kind of like to uh, make something out of my life, do something useful. We talked it over and we decided this was best. We've been in touch with the federal attorney's office, and they think with Dalton surrendering himself, a life sentence maybe, probation if we're real lucky. No promises, but we're hoping we can make some kind of a deal. They assured us that uh, Laura is in the clear. Well, we just want your family to know that no matter what, we'll be there for them. Thank you. <clears throat> Team? Yeah. 
have to go away for a while. Just in case you ever have any doubts about doing the right thing. Who you are. The, uh, they gave these to us when we shipped out. Would you hang on to this for me? We're both Americans. That means to you, I can't, I can't take that. Give it back to me, son. 